Hey guys, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. Today's video is a little bit different um, or just kind of more out there than my usual videos, but I have been dying to try one of these ultrasonic cleaners and I have a mouth guard. I don't know how many of you guys can relate, but I, as, as much as I brush this mouth guard, it just still feels kind of dirty. And I'm so excited to give this Life Basis ultrasonic cleaner a try today. I'd like to thank Life Basis for sponsoring today's video and supplying me with this product, which is well needed. So in, in just a bit, we're gonna be opening this box and giving this product a try. It also can clean your jewelry. It can clean your toothbrush heads if you have an electric toothbrush. It can clean your makeup brushes, your watches and it just uses water. You can use a little bit of dish soap if you want, but water should be fine for most cleansing you know, processes. So let's go ahead and open this up. Okay, so let's go ahead and open it up. Got the instructions here. Cute little size, definitely won't clutter up our counters. Okay, we've got our little tray. I'm assuming this would be for like watches, like to rest on there. Okay, so some good things to clean in here would be eyeglasses, jewelry, watches. I don't use makeup, um, I occasionally do. But if you use it often, you cleaning your makeup brushes, that'd be good. But something I'm excited to do is my night guard because it doesn't matter how much I scrub this thing, it always just seems to be so dirty. So that is what we are going to give a try today. So in looking at this, it looks like I was right. This little uh, curvy piece is the watch stand, so I won't be needing that for my night guard. And then it looks like for regular cleaning, I I'm just going to place my night guard in maybe this plastic container and then I'm going to fill up with water and I just want to make sure that it doesn't go past this line up here. So it's a bit embarrassing but like I said it doesn't really matter how much I clean this thing it just it just looks so dirty so I'm so excited to see the difference after I use this little machine. So we're just gonna plop it in there and I'm gonna fill it up. And it says like, at least until it's submerged, looks like it's at the mint. So I'm gonna add a little bit more water and flip that over. Okay, so after the water is in there, we're gonna just go ahead and plug this machine in. Go ahead and close that. Okay, so it looks like if I could change like how many seconds I want this to go and it says that 180 is kind of like the default time for normal cleaning. So I'll just leave it at that. And then we're just gonna press the button right over here. It's a little hard to see on the camera, but there's like a little, um, you guys can see it here. I pressed this to change the time and we're gonna press the button on the right to start it. Definitely see some action in there. I'm excited to see what this looks like when it comes out. Now, when I'm looking at the top, it doesn't appear to look, you know, totally transparent. This could mean that it needs just more time. But I'm also reading here that the like little plastic container kind of absorbs some of the ultrasonic, you know, vibrations or whatever, making it a little less effective. And so you really only, you need to use that for like really small or fragile items. So let's go ahead and just see what this looks like. So in my opinion, I can't notice too much of a difference, but I'm guessing it's also because I used this thing. So let's take this out and see if there's a difference without it. Okay, moment of truth. The water definitely does look a little bit murky. 
this does look cleaner to me, like in the little crevices. And this can run for a lot longer. So I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this off. So while the coloring, you know, it's not like it changed the coloring much, I do notice like, you know, like I said, in the crevices, there doesn't seem to be as much stuff there. And the water inside this tub does look a little bit murky. All right, so I rinsed everything, added new water. The last thing I want to clean is my toothbrush head. Definitely saw like little particles coming off of this. So my toothbrush head could probably go for a little bit longer. I did see more particles kind of like being removed from this thing. And the nice thing again is that you can go for a while. It does recommend not using it longer than 30 minutes straight. If you do need to use it longer than that, you want to have like a 10 minute break just to help prolong the life of this machine. But I will feel much better about my oral care using this to clean my products. Now again, when you are done using the machine, you want to unplug it first. Then you can pour out the water through this side where it has the little arrow let it dry and store it in a cool, dry place. So again, I'd like to thank Life Basis for sponsoring this portion of today's video. I am also just really excited to have this because I can clean my kids' toothbrushes because they're a little bit smaller and can fit in there. And it's really important right now because there's been like sicknesses, kind of constant colds. I think um, Aubrey actually has walking pneumonia right now. And we're just like, there's too many germs in here. And so I'm just like, let's go ahead and clean as much as we can. And so starting with the things that we actually put in our mouth, I think is a great start. I will make sure to put the link to this product down below in my description box if any of you guys are interested in getting one for yourself, especially with the holidays coming up. And I can't wait to share more videos with you guys. We have some more cleaning videos coming up. We have Thanksgiving around the corner. So I'll be sharing with you guys what I did for Thanksgiving and just a whole lot more. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you are new here, I would love it if you stick around and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Woohoo! You've made it to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.